Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video, it's going to be something a little different. It's going to be a haul video. So if y'all know me, like in real life, I love, like love going shopping. And uh, recently with everything that's been going on, I've been doing a lot of online shopping. So made a lot of online purchases and I've also been getting back into the groove of cosplay. So I've been buying a lot of cosplay stuff and a lot of anime merch. By the way, I'm sorry if the mic quality is bad. Once again, I'm not using my mic. I got too lazy to set it up. So I am so sorry. But yeah. So I'm just going to do a little haul on all the stuff that I bought um, in the past month and in the past few days and a little review of what I think about it and if I recommend it, especially for the guys who are thinking about getting these exact same things from the exact same stores. Some of these are going to be first impressions and others are not going to be first impressions. Some of them are going to be stuff that I already uh, opened and checked out, especially things from online stores because I do have to check them and make sure that I got the right items and the right things before rating them or clicking that I accepted them, like that I got them already. I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it and if I recommend them. So. Yes, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the stuff that I got and I'm going to give you guys the reviews. So we're going to start with wigs. So, uh, you know, from the top, make it drop. That's so wet, that's so wet. I bought a lot of wigs um, in the past, few, past month, the past few weeks. And I have uh, some here that I have not opened yet. And of course, the ones here that I have opened and checked out. So I will just show you guys what they look like, what I think of it, and a little kind of like a tip on how I store them and, you know, just keep them fresh. Let's start. If you follow me on TikTok, you have seen this wig so many times. This is my hitch wig. One tip that I can give you guys when storing wigs is to kind of label them. So one way is to kind of have labels on the plastic. So when I store it, I have this label. Um, this is how I label my wigs. So I have the color and the character that I kind of can use the wig for. Obviously, it's not going to be stuck to this character, but it does help when I'm thinking about what the wig kind of looks like. So now I have a kind of brief idea of what the wig looks like without even taking it out of the plastic. Now, um, if I kind of need more information, that's where the little number comes in. So I have a Google Excel sheet on my computer which just lists all my wigs so um, if I need if ever I need more information on a wig I just look for the number on my Google sheet and I have all the information this wig is from the brand Dallo home on Taobao I bought it from Jiao Jiao Fairy Castle it is 35 centimeters it is blonde and a dirty blonde color wavy and it is a weft type wig and it has a scalp. So I also put if the wigs have scalps. That's how I store my wigs. So um, this is from the brand Dallow Home. So um, I don't know if all their wigs are kind of the same as this um, quality, but I do love the quality of this wig. It's really good for its price. It's not the best wig, but it is really good for its price and it does also look really natural. The first time I put on this wig, a lot of people thought that I had cut and dyed my hair this color. So. I think that's something that's really good and I just really love this wig obviously because I've, it's honestly my favorite wig but now I can't wear it without looking like Hitch, especially with this shirt. Alright, so this wig I actually keep on this mannequin head because it is the wig that I use the most but for now it's this wig that's on this mannequin head because I need to style it So, and I only have one mannequin head. So as you can see. This is a Noel or Noru uh, wig from Genshin Impact. So I don't know what brand this wig is, so it doesn't have much details. Uh, but this is a secondhand wig. 
Um, I bought it from a cosplay market on Facebook. Honestly, like the reason why I decided to get a secondhand wig was just because I don't really care. Um, I don't really mind getting secondhand anything um, as long as it's well cared for. Sorry, I just raised the camera a bit. The first thing I did was take it out and give it a little rinse. No shade at all to the uh, uh, person this wig came from, but of course you want to be sure. So I gave it a little rinse, a little wash, just to sanitize it, especially we live in times like these. So I gave it a little wash, so it's gonna need a little bit of styling because, you know, it's kind of a mess up here. Um, I don't know what brand it is, but it's really good. I actually like it. The quality is fine, and I like how it's not one-dimensional, like um, the hairs are different shades of lavender so it's it's got like that effect to it I actually like wigs like that where um, it's different shades of uh, the color that the wig is supposed to be so that it gives more depth uh, for the wig so I really like that sorry Aaron this mannequin head is named Aaron by the way so now that we're done talking about that let's talk about the wigs that are still in this plastics this one I've already labeled but I didn't really take it out of the plastic yet. So this is a brownish silver wig. And as you can see, I labeled it with Rico Brzezinska because it kind of reminds me of Rico from Attack on Titan. So yes, this is what it looks like. And it is a bob kind of wig. And as you can see, the inside is also a weft type uh, or lace type uh, kind of cap. I usually call it weft because a lot of people confuse lace type and lace front, so um, I tend to say wefts instead so that people can make like a difference. So yeah, um, this one, it's actually really nice. It is a bit shiny, like especially you can see on camera it's a bit shiny. But look at that, it's kind of soft. It's soft, it's really soft. The uh, cap isn't visible if you, even if you like move it around like this you cannot see the cap. Um, unlike the hitch wig, sometimes you can see the cap if you move it a little bit. Uh, I have not used this yet. Um, actually, I was planning to use this for a Rico Brzezinska cosplay, but I ended up canceling that cost plan uh, because I felt like I was doing too much Attack on Titan cosplays. So now I don't know who I'm going to use this for. I might use it for a female Inumaki um, type of cosplay, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just thinking about it. The last wig, the last wig that I got that came in on time for this video, I ha still have wigs in the mail, but I feel like they're going to come in in my next video, haul video, is uh, this wig, this one, I have not removed it at all from the plastic. Um, in fact, it still does not have a label. So this wig is actually a second order of mine. Um, I have ordered this exact same wig from this shop as well. Uh, so this is a Nobara uh, Kugisaki wig. And I actually really um, recommend uh, this wig and this store if you guys are looking for a Nobara wig, so uh, this is what it looks like. So yes, it is also a weft type of wig. And yeah, it's actually really good quality as well, um, or rather good quality for its price. And the reason why this is the second time I bought this wig was because um, this was the first one that I ordered. And I cut this one a little too short on one side because um, this wig is kind of long for Nubara. Um, of course, wigs are usually longer than they should be because they don't know uh, how long it will look on you. So I kind of tried to trim it, ended up trimming a little too much. Wasn't happy with it, so I ended up purchasing another one. Now this one, I have plans for it. I am planning to dye it black in which stay tuned for a video on that i i would probably film myself uh dyeing the wig so that you guys have an idea how to dye a wig but yes so this is my nobara kugisaki wig and i definitely recommend this wig it's really good for its price point not bad now that we're done talking about the hair pieces and stuff like that let's move on to the face so what's on the face makeup i did not buy any makeup related products this previous month so weird because I love makeup but I did get contact lenses these came in just today so this is kind of like a first impression um, I haven't opened it yet so this is from Guai shop so 
Gui Shop. Gui Shop. Gui Shop. Yeah. Um, I have ordered from them before. My blue contact lenses are from them, and my pink Nesco contact lenses are from them as well. So I ordered two pairs of contact lenses from them one graded, one not. So we've got this info card. Honestly, I got with my first order as well. And here are the contact lenses. Yeah, these are the pink cat eye contact lenses. I got them for my Nesco as well. Um, I did get a Nesco like plain kind of pink, but I wanted like a cat eye kind of contact lens. So the reason why I decided not to get a graded one is, aside from the fact that these are already kind of pricey, is that you can't really wear cat eye contact lenses outside photo shoots. My fellow cosplayers know this. Cat eye contact lenses move around your eye. You might think you'd be looking cute with that slit eye. A few minutes later, you're looking like a goat. So um, they're not really good to wear outside. So this is what they look like. The seller, by the way, of this shop is super super like approachable she sent me pictures of the contact lenses before sending them to me and yeah that's also what she did when i first ordered from her so definitely recommend and here are uh kind of like greenish contact lenses so um this is from the brand called sweetie plus and honestly this is the brand that i recommend if you have dark eyes like mine and you want a bright Kind of color. So I actually discovered this brand when I was looking for blue contact lenses from a Historia Rest cosplay and blue lenses kind of turn up like a dark kind of uh, brown in my eyes. Uh, but then I discovered this brand and the blue was so popping on my eyes so I really loved it. So now I bought this kind of greenish color. Um, it's not a bright kind of green it's kind of like a kind of greenish brownish color um, like a, an olive color um, because I really just want, needed these contact lenses for my Hitch cosplay <laughs> uh, because uh, Hitch if you know Hitch she does have kind of like olive-ish eyes so I think that works for this one um, I'm also going to cosplay no Noel as well from Genshin Impact and she does have the same kind of colored eyes as Hitch so it works out. Now let's move on to accessories. This is anime merch although I can probably use it for cosplay. So I got these two earrings. So we've got the Wings of Freedom and the Butterfly from Demon Slayer. So initially I actually got Inosuke mask earrings but she was all out. I'll deal with it. But honestly, I really, really want the Inosuke. I still want the Inosuke one. So maybe if she restocks sometime soon the Inosuke ones, I will get the Inosuke ones. Alright, so now that we're done with that, let's move on to costume pieces that I got. So um, this costume piece that I got um, kind of came in a set. So this is my uh, Attack on Titan Scouts trench coat. So I got this from a store called Heist Cosplay. I think I'll just put it on the screen. And initially, this came in a set of the coat, um, this medallion, the belt, a shirt, like a blouse, and white pants. Now, I don't really need the white pants and the blouse anymore because I have my own. Uh, so I kind of asked if I could just get the coat and they said sure, uh, but they will throw in the medallion and the belt. So I agreed and this was what I got. Honestly, it's pretty good. Um, I also did an unboxing of this for my Attack on Titan cause group, so I'll just put the video uh, on right now so that you guys can see my first reaction to it. I got it in a small because I'm tiny as fuck. It's not buttons, it's Velcro. Odd. But I got the aesthetic down, so that's fine, I guess. It's Velcro. That's odd. Okay. So, this is what it looks like on. And just take note that it is Velcro. I kind of expected it to be um, buttons, but that's fine, I guess still gives off that vibe. Um, this 
shoulder part has shoulder pads and the belt honestly I can live without the belt um, I honestly was not planning to get this belt because I could just use any other belt and this belt I do not recommend it because within the day of wearing it it broke like look at this like this kind of like strap thing for the belt it's just stapled so it kind of came off already so but it's a cheap jacket it's a cheap coat with a cheap belt so I, I'm not complaining so the coat is pretty good um, I don't mind the velcro um, bit um, you can just kind of replace it with buttons if you so desire of course it is a cheap uh, coat so not much to complain but it is good for the price and the print is not embroidered some people asked if it was embroidered but it's not and it is pretty good it does not feel like it's gonna come off soon like I'm scratching it and yeah it's not gonna yeah, it's not gonna come off soon, like as you can see, I'm scratching it, yeah. Alright, so let's move on to the next cosplay piece that I got. And once again, if you follow me on TikTok, you would know this, uh, you would recognize this piece. So this is my um, military police jacket. So um, I really love this jacket, honestly. It is my favorite piece right now the quality is amazing it's super nice my only issue with it is that the color is kind of bright um, if you look at my scouts jacket look at the color comparison it is a bit different but if you compare quality this is a lot better than this one when we compare the bottom part of the jacket bottom part of the scouts jacket just looks like this it's kind of seamed like this and honestly the seam is kind of uneven and then you can see the seam of this one the military police jacket it is um, seamed like this so it's really good um, really well uh, the pockets of the scout one um, do not close like as you can see it is not a button and it does not like snap close whereas the military police jacket is a kind of snap kind of closure so you can close it and open it as you so desire I do uh, recommend this one more than this one although if you can kind of not mind the coloring honestly I just tell my brother that this is probably a brand new military police jacket and military police don't really do anything which is probably why it looks super brand new and the scouts are doing a lot of things so their jackets are kind of faded and I would wear this outside like this jacket honestly does not feel costumey at all um, whereas this one uh, I wore this outside once to a dentist appointment and I felt like I was wearing a costume piece probably because it is a costume piece but when I put this on the military police one it does not feel like a costume piece it does not feel like I have a costume piece on so um, I guess it just really has that vibe so um, that's it for this haul thank you guys so much for watching so I might be doing more hauls in the future like every two months or every three months so that uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more cosplay hauls and seeing stuff I got and of course little reviews on what I think about the pieces that I got just in case you guys are interested in getting your own and yeah so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye